In an effort to intimidate potential protesters in the state of Arizona, Republican lawmakers have just passed a law in the Senate, or I should say a bill in the Senate, that would essentially allow cops to seize assets from anyone who takes part in a protest who that might turn violent. Now, uh, it doesn't matter if the people involved were violent themselves, if they were involved in the protest and some individuals were deemed violent, well, they, they can have their assets seized by the cops. Now, this legislation has passed in the Senate. It's now going to the House, uh, but we'll see if it gets passed. It expands the state's racketeering laws now aimed at organized crime to also include rioting, while also redefining what constitutes rioting to include actions that result in damage to the property of others. It would let law enforcement officials seize the assets of people who participate in protests that turn violent, even if those people had nothing to do with any violent incidents. It also gives cops the power to arrest people who planned the events, even if they did not personally commit violence. It's insane. So let's talk this out. Uh, and I think this is one of the worst laws I've ever seen in over 20 years of covering the news. Uh, and. I don't even think it's borderline fascist, I think it's totally fascist. So let me explain. That means that if you show up to a protest and someone else commits an act of violence, it will be blamed on you. Not only will you be arrested, they can take the car that you came in. Now, it could also be that the person who committed the violence is against you. It, it could be a property yes. tour and he could come in and go, okay, I smashed a window, now arrest everyone at this protest. And by law, according to this bill, they would be allowed to arrest everyone at the protest, seize all of their cars, all of their cameras, all of their phones, everything they've got. Well, you've just outlawed protests. It's the most un-American, most unconstitutional thing you could ever do. Now, if you even think about planning a protest, you you've began to plan the protest, but the protest hasn't even happened yet. Okay, and then let's say you withdraw. You plan the protest, but you, hey, you know what? You were sick, you couldn't go. And some guy who is not with you commits an act of violence or, by the way, just damages property or whatever it is, anything that breaks the law in that protest, now they're going to call it retroactively a riot that you planned. And what can they seize? If you planned it in your house, can they seize your house? I, this is a RICO law. It is meant for mobsters. Yes. They can seize all your property. We this is the state acting as a thug to make sure you don't have the right to protest, which is guaranteed in the First Amendment. Right. This is this is civil asset forfeiture on steroids. But the intent here is not just to ensure that police departments make a buck off of pretending like they're investigating cases. This is meant to also intimidate people and convince them that it's a bad idea to organize protests and to speak out against elected officials. So think about that. I mean, that is a constitutionally protected right. And in this case, I mean, I would be afraid to get involved in any protest because I don't want my assets, uh, you know, seized by the cops if someone comes in and does something violent. And by the way, how do you ensure that the person coming in and doing something violent is actually involved with that cause? It actually believes in what that protest is meant to be about. How do we know it's not a provocateur who's coming in and trying to cause drama just so cops can come in there and seize assets? By the way, historically governments have done this, whether it's here in the U.S., sometimes during the civil rights protests that were meant to be nonviolent and were strictly nonviolent, or in other countries. The government will send in someone uh, to cause violence, and then they will never actually charge the person who caused the violence because he's with them, they'll charge everyone else in the group. In Arizona, they're codifying it. They're making it, in this case, it's a bill that's already passed in the uh, Senate. In the Senate, and they're and they're saying, yeah, 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 yeah. We can, if anyone caused you have mass guilt. And of course it has a chilling effect. Of course it uh, tamps down protests. Now uh, they say, oh, that's because protests are, are really problematic and potentially violent. Where where were these Republican legislators when the Tea Party was doing all the protesting. Remember when they would shout at town halls? Now they're worried about the town halls because it was it's progressives that are shouting at town halls. When the Tea Party would rage at those town halls, there were no bills like this that were proposed. Of course, Democrats wouldn't do it because they actually care about America, they care about the Constitution, they understand what this country is about. Uh, Republicans, on the other hand, don't give a damn. They're authoritarians. They never liked this country in the first place. They never believed in our Constitution in the first place. Any. Uh, it, opportunity to become dictatorial, a right-winger will take it. 
So he's, they're tearing up the Constitution in Arizona. Mm -hmm. And so they don't care about protests. Otherwise, they would have cared when it was the Tea Party. But now all of a sudden, it's protests against them. And they're like, no, not the citizens must be protected. The government officials must be protected. That's right. Now, if you're a true conservative and not a sellout establishment politician like this, you'd be outraged at this. If you care about the Constitution, you'd be outraged at this. And by the way, we haven't even gotten to one of the uh, uh, provisions which I think is even worse than all this. Which provision are you talking about? I'm going to go to uh, quote Senator John Kavanaugh. He's one of the guys who proposes the Republican from Arizona. Now, one of the provisions in the bill uh, allows you to arrest people before anything even happens. So what is that? That's a thought crime. I'm going to quote the, the actual politician here. He says, you now have a situation where you have full-time, almost professional agent provocateurs, which is hilarious because he's actually totally reversed it, that attempt to create public disorder. Wouldn't you rather stop a riot before it starts? Do you really want to wait until people are injuring each other, throwing Molotov cocktails, picking up barricades and smashing them through businesses in downtown Phoenix? So before he lists that parade of horribles, he says, let's just stop the crime before it even happens, when it's just a thought. So if you're planning a protest, we are going to assume that the protest could be violent and arrest you for planning a protest. That's a thought crime. And that is the most unconstitutional law I have ever seen. And these guys claim to be in favor of the Constitution and claim to be pro-American. This is the least American bill I have ever seen in my lifetime. So now, if you dare to even consider using your First Amendment rights, in Arizona, if they get their way, they will arrest you and lock you up for thought crimes. And seize your property. You can help hire investigative reporters that will chase down stories no one else will. Be the media. TYTnetwork.com slash go.